I could not help but notice your your article for the Athletic and your 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 opinion of what the Jaguars should do with Urban Meyer. I give you the floor to put it into words uh, for this audience right now. Well, Amy. I did have a strong position on it, and Rich, you have known me for all those years, and you know that I am not a hot take yes, I, person. Yes. Um, I don't I don't have hot takes just for the purposes of having hot takes. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do feel strongly about this. When you own a business, you have to make a decision as to whether those you employ, particularly someone in a leadership position, is a good leader and does exercise good judgment. And in my view, this is just another or yet another instance of Urban not exercising good judgment. There have been a number of instances before this, and it was a glaring lack of leadership. I heard you mention uh, that Mike Lombardi shared with you that he can't recall a time in his career when a coach didn't fly home with a team. And as I shared in that athletic piece, I can't recall an instance in which a head coach didn't fly home with us either. Now, you know, if there was an instance and I'm simply not remembering it, I am confident it was because of an emergency situation like a funeral or, you know, a loved one who was terminally ill. But I really don't remember an instance in which a head coach did not return with the team. And A, that's leadership. But B, to all the people who said to me, oh, AIM, nothing goes on on the planes. No, excuse me. I was on those planes for almost 30 years, and business does go on on those planes. But again, lack of leadership not to come home with the team. Yeah, and, and, and you know, I, I've been on those planes too. And, you know, players sometimes go up front to talk to the coach. Sometimes the coach goes in the back. Certainly if yep. a team's heartbroken, like Urban Meyer said in the postgame press conference Thursday in Cincinnati that his team was, that, you know, that there there, there is uh, business to be done or – or rallies to cry, you know, like these are these are things that to be done. But so um, the fact, though, that he stayed behind and then the video comes out of what he was doing while staying behind, even though that wasn't, you know, we all assume and, and I think correctly. So that's not the reason why he stayed behind was what we saw on the video. But, um, you know, uh, it, even if it was, I mean, if it was, then that, that would make a, a whole different story out of this. But Let's put it together and just say, you know, what what you said at the end of that column is you think that Jacksonville should just swing the axe right now and don't even wait to see well, I, what's I, happening. I do. Um, and as I said in that piece, um, do as I say, not as I do is not leadership in my view. And I want to make very clear what I endeavored to make clear in that article and on Twitter. And I believe you and I are in accord on this. I would terminate him not for what he did when he stayed back. That's between Urban and his wife. That's between Urban and his family. I would terminate him simply for staying back. Because I don't know how you lead a team when you're evidencing glaring lacks of leadership like that. Now, you know, maybe he can reconstitute himself. I do believe in second chances. But, and by the way, I've been given second chances in life, and, and I work for a team owner who gave people second chances. But if I – and third chances and fourth chances. Um, <laughs> no. If I owned a business, I would have trouble now after the – I think this is the third time since he's been hired that I have thought poor judgment, poor judgment, poor judgment. And as a business owner, do I want someone in a position of leadership – that I think continues to exercise poor judgment. And my answer to that is no. And you are absolutely right, Rich, of course, as to what goes on on team planes. Never did I see, and you know, there was never a flight home that I didn't see our coach walking throughout that plane and speaking to players, whether we were in a good mood or a bad mood, heartbroken or otherwise, meeting with players, speaking with players. Sometimes players would approach the coach. The coach would meet with trainers and the medical staff and talk about injuries. They'd start talking about the next week's game plan. But more importantly, that coach came home with his team. You know what? Let me use this term, ride or die. Hmm. Amy Trask here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Well, what you just said, uh, here's what might be the loophole in it, Amy, is the fact that, and certainly you with uh, a legal mind as well, um, that that 
<clears throat> to say that we're firing you, we're terminating you for cause, um, not the morals clause, when it was interesting to see Shad Khan use the word conduct in his statement, um, that, that we're firing you for cause because of this, um, that basically his response would be, well, I, I told the general manager I was going to do this, and he said, okay, even though obviously the command and control structure of hiring somebody like Urban is you hand him the keys to everything, and he's clearly shown that being handed the keys, he can crash the car. Uh, but wouldn't wouldn't he be able to say essentially, and that's the ultimate problem with this, is that there's a command and control structure where the general manager doesn't tell him that's a bad idea, Urban. You got it. You've got to take this plane back home. Well, you're right? you're absolutely right to point that out. And I did see Urban's comment in that regard. I've not seen anything from Trent. So, you know, there's a lot to explore there. Did he say, hey, I'm staying back? And was he told? Well, look, I think that's a really, really, really bad idea, but I don't have the authority to tell you not to go talk to Shad. I don't know what the response was. Was the response, okay, sure, stay back. If that's the case, you're absolutely right. There are legal issues and arguments to be made associated with that. Look, there's a dance that may go on here. It, it, if, you know, if there's a termination, um, and, and I was teased today when I said termination. Someone meant, do you mean, said, do you mean killing him or just firing? No, no. Of course, <laughs> I'm using the legal word for firing. Um, but if Shad chooses to terminate him, to fire him, there's going to be an argument, an arbitration over is money owed. Uh, and maybe they can settle that on a going forward basis. Maybe Urban says, all right, you know, I'm partly responsible. Let's reach a happy medium. Let's not have an arbitration. But yes, all of this is going to unfold if, in fact, Shaw decides to move on. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.